Hey, 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 Pisces. Sorry, I had to do this video over, uh, but I'm leaving the cards out that came out at first, okay? So this is for Pisces. Um, this is your sacred scribe here. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Pisces, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below. Don't forget to comment. Let me know if this resonates with you. I want to hear from you guys. I love interacting with you. So Pisces, I'm going to get a message from Spirit Channeled. Ah, see the orb. Um, let me show you the cards I got. Three of Cups, Ace of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the Chariots, and the Eight of Swords. Ah, now they're itching my notes. Okay. Let me get a message from Spirit here. Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I'm hearing tender, loving care to yourself. Seek to soothe yourself. Okay, they're, they're actually like showing me a baby. Like, you know how babies sometimes figure out how to soothe themselves? They're wanting you to really figure out what calms you, what gets you into, you know, just the state of bliss, that state of calmness, right? Okay. All right, Pisces, what do you have going on here? The Seven of Swords. Are you trying to avoid a reunion with somebody, Pisces? Are you running from something? I feel like you're, you're trying to outrun... You, it's like the seven of swords right behind the seven of swords is the chariot right the chariot is the card of cancer but you've got two sevens there so this is something spiritual so either you've you've connected with something that's spiritual and you're running from it okay or what i'm also feeling is you've connected with something you're supposed to be doing okay or because it's right on top of the the reunion card here, you perhaps could have gotten the message to reunite with somebody, but you're running from it. You're like, no. But she can't run from spirit. I hope you know that. Because the chariot's right behind you. And the chariot's on a mission. The emperor is driving. So you're not going to be able to, you know, outrun the emperor. Sorry to tell you. You've got yourself all fucked up in the head with this mind fuckery going on right you put yourself in this mental imprisonment of your own making when you can simply set yourself free okay this is what you need to learn pisces this is all about self-love with the ace of cups here this is why spirit's saying connect with yourself figure out how you work figure out what is soothing to you okay because they're wanting to calm this energy of the seven of swords this is like this is aquarius energy but this is frantic energy all right it's almost like you can you know when you can see people sometimes and it's like they just look sneaky but they're really not that's what this reminds me of that's what this feels like because the seven of swords is usually the cheater the liar the thief right but in this case it's it's like no you may look sneaky but you're not you're only you're only stealing from yourself right you're only stealing from yourself because uh, i'm feeling like you're trying to run from your mission that's exactly what i'm feeling like and you're gonna keep getting banged over the head all right, tell me about the Seven of Swords. 
yeah, Ten of Cups and the, the Five of Swords. This is hysterical. Like you're not going to be able to, this is emotionally fulfilling for you. This reunion will be, this is your emotional fulfillment. That's what everybody wants, the Ten of Cups. And you're fighting yourself. Why? Because this is, this is like very childish behavior. This is, um, this can even be bullying, but this is anger, jealousy, winning at all cost. It could be, all right, if spirit is wanting you to reunite with somebody, this could be your ego stopping you. Okay. Like, no, no, I, I'm going to win this argument at, at what, you know, at what cost. And with the five of swords, it's like, I don't care what it costs. I'm going to win anyway. When it's probably petty because that is pettiness. The five of swords is petty arguments, things that mean absolutely nothing in the grand scheme of things. So let's see why you're all caught up in your head. Why is the eight of swords here, please, for Pisces? Ooh. All right, I got a couple cards here for you. The four of swords, the justice. This could be a twin, absolutely, and the sun. See, wow, you're not communicating with this person right now, right? You're not communicating. But while in not communicating, you need to take advantage of this piecing out, okay? Because you pieced out, but you didn't piece in. Think about that, Pisces. You pieced out, but you didn't piece in. I think that's what I'm going to title your video. It's actually a pretty good title. Okay. So with the sun card here, again, we have happiness. You've got the happiest card in the, actually, you've got the two happiest cards in the deck. The sun in the 10 of cups, past life soulmate, emotional vulnerability, emotional fulfillment, right? You need to love yourself enough, okay, to put your ego aside and say, you know what? This makes me happy. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. The justice card here is this is your karmic destiny anyway. So you better get used to it. Stop trying to run from it. The hermit. Yes, this is the energy you need to go on. This is your destiny. This is your karmic destiny. So how does this other person feel that's in this three of cups? See, king of cups. You have nothing to worry about. They have an abundance of love for you. Their intuition is telling them that they should be with you, but they're waiting for you. They're waiting for you. And especially if this is a twin, they feel this. Yep, they're waiting. I told you, they're waiting for you. And what comes out? The hangman, the waiting card. Okay. So what is your advice? What's your advice for Pisces, please? What's your advice? <laughs> the star card, heal. Okay, heal first, heal, go into the hermit mode, go within, seek that wisdom. When you come out, go seek this individual. Peace out to peace in. What other advice do you have, Pisces? Nine of Cups, there's the wish card again. You've got two wish cards. I mean, can this be more evident, Pisces? This is your wish fulfillment. Why are you holding yourself back from the wish? Why are you running away from your wish? Because you want to win an argument? Because of your ego? Really? Is it worth it? Is it worth you not, you know, getting on your destiny? That makes no sense. You have a spiritual commitment to this journey, especially if you're a twin. You have a spiritual commitment to this journey. You know that. But you're making it hella hard on yourself with this Ten of Wands energy. You're making it too hard on yourself. Okay? This is Taurus energy. It could be a Taurus that you're supposed to reunite with. But this is definitely a spiritual connection, a spiritual commitment, and marriage. Okay? This could be somebody that you were married to that you're needing to reunite with or committed to. Doesn't matter. Either way, you need to be reunited with them. Because you're part of this story we call life. You're part of this mission of the new world. So you need to get your shit straight. Peace out to peace in. 
bottom of the deck you have the nine of wands stop it with the defenses will ya all right pisces i hope this resonated with you i hope this made sense please drop a like below share and subscribe if you already haven't if you're interested in a personal reading with me link is in the description box below have a good one pisces and i'll talk to you soon